so I recently got my hair cut and today I'm going to henna my hair. This is something which you can buy from Lush and I have gone for the colour Caca Brun. There are four different colours, Caca Rouge, Caca Marron, Caca Brun and Caca Noir. I'm going for Caca Brun which is like a deep brownish kind of gloss. So the reason why I've decided to henna my hair is because I don't want to dye my hair and keep ripping it to shreds. Henna is completely safe and fine for the hair and it has cocoa butter in it so it helps soften the hair as well. There are two things you can do with Caca Brun. You can either add extra coffee beans to it to get more of a darker like browny effect or you could wrap it up in like cling film around your head to give it more of a ready tone. I'm just going to leave mine normal, I don't want mine any darker or any redder than it's going to be and I hope it would go okay on my hair. So in this video I'm just going to show you like how to henna your hair and then my ending result and a review on what I thought of the hair henna. I thought it would be a really good idea to upload a video in case any of you out there are wondering how the henna works or what it looks like. First of all there are a few things you're going to need for when henna in your hair. First one is obviously the henna brick itself. And like I said, I have gone for Kaka Brun. You also need some clips so that you can separate your hair into different sections because the best thing to do is to separate your hair so you can go strands by strands and not miss anything out. The next thing you will need is a brush. You will also need some gloves. You then also need a rubbishy kind of top that you don't mind to get dirty if it does. And then finally, one of the most important things you will definitely need is either some kind of petroleum jelly kind of Vaseline thing. I have Ultra Balm, which is pretty much the same thing, and you are just gonna need to apply this literally anywhere where it's possible for the henna to get onto your head, because it will stain and it will stay there for quite a while. You will also need a glass bowl. So I have just cut these up into little blocks now, and as you can hear, my kettle is boiling, and I will add boiling hot water to these cubes here. It looks a little bit like poo at the moment and it smells a little bit funny too. It's starting to get a lot more mixed now. It still needs to melt down quite a bit. I'm not too sure how much water to add to this because I don't want it to be too runny. But yeah, I don't want it to be too thick either because otherwise it won't melt down. I have now changed location into the bathroom and this is what my mixture looks like. So I've got my Ultra Balm here and I'm just gonna apply this all over my face. actually henna in my hair so I'm gonna grab my gloves I'm so nervous for this and now I'm going to separate my hair now after that it's time to apply the henna up in this really weird kind of thing right now because I didn't want it dangling down and get this top any more dirty and rubbish than it is already and I've just cleaned up the bathroom because I'm going to be 100% honest with you and say it is quite messy. I've had people tell me it's messy anyway but when you're applying it bits crumble off and they crumble onto the floor and onto the sink and so I've washed the floors and the sink and now what you have to do is just leave this for two to three hours and then you can wash out. Some people leave it on for absolutely ages but I think if anything that just helps improve the quality of the hair from the cocoa butter sinking in. Okay, so I have left my hair for two and a half hours, maybe a little bit more. I watched a couple of episodes of the Comic Relief Great British Bake Off, which I love. Anyway, it sort of has this really hard texture now, like literally, it's really hard. And I'm sort of worried that I didn't, oh, my dog's coming in. And I was sort of, Marley, be careful. And I was sort of worried that I didn't cover all of my hair, but we will see what it looks like once I have rinsed it out. Which Marley's gonna help me do. Okay, so it has been a couple of days since I last henned my hair. 
I've decided to just have the results on my iPhone camera because it's going to take a long time to have to set up my other camera just to show you the colour of my hair. So I apologise about the shakiness of my arm and the fact that the quality is going to be nowhere near as good as it was before. But anyway, this is the colour of my hair, just a really nice kind of dark brown colour. They say it takes about 24 plus hours for it to develop, but I didn't really notice much of a colour darkening, if that makes sense. So maybe, I don't know, but... I don't know. I found that it went to the tips quite well, a lot better than I thought. Obviously my tips were blonde, so I was assuming it was gonna go green, but it stayed like a nice brownie color, so I'm totally impressed with that. Uh, the smell isn't as nice as I thought it would be. It does get worse, and when you have washed your hair, it sort of lingers around for a little bit. But once your hair is dry, however, the smell goes, so it's fine. It's like any old hair dye, like the smell will probably stick to your hair. Otherwise, I'm so impressed with this hair henna. I really love the colour and the quality of my hair is still really nice and soft. So if you are thinking of dyeing your hair but you don't want to ruin it and the colours are similar to what you want to go for, I would highly recommend that you go for a hair henna from Lush because they're super great for the hair and like, look, it works. It doesn't go to crap. So that is it for this hair henna tutorial forward slash review video. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up and if you want to see more, remember to subscribe.